Hey, Chris Salim here from Mixdown.online. Now, today I want to share with you a comment I got on YouTube not too long ago about pitch correcting vocals in Cubase 9. That was a video I produced a few months ago, and I got a guy that was pretty upset on the video I made here. So, this is from GRAXX. Are you serious? That singing on the word down was fine. I've been a singer for 35 years. That was fine. That singer is a very good singer. Use an example on a bad singer. Stop fucking with things you have no ear for. Okay, first of all, I don't care much about the insult. Here's a few things I want to point out. I'm very sorry you didn't get the point of the video. That was a technical video on how to do pitch correcting in Cubase using the very audio feature in Cubase to do manual pitch correction. It wasn't about the decision making on whatever needs to be corrected or not. That is a production decision made by the producer and the artist. And the video wasn't about that. And pitch correction has nothing to do to whatever the uh, singer is a good singer or a bad singer. It's actually easier to do pitch correcting on a good performance with a good singer. Now you're suggesting me to use a bad singer for this kind of example. Now, I'm not going to do so. Now, I don't pitch correct a bad singer. I send a bad singer to a vocal coach. Because the performance of a singer or a musician is very important in the music production process. Okay, this is one of the first steps. There's a pre-production stage, then there's the recording stage. And within that recording stage, we have performance. And this is a very important step. On my side, when I do pitch correction, I tend to do this on the recording stage. And if a line is way off, I just re-record the line. That's it. I don't pitch correct it. You know, because pitch correction is going to work best if the performance is good and if the pitch is not that off. You know, if it's too off, it might sound a bit weird. It might add a bit of artifacts and so on. You know, so you need to be, you know, at least close to what you want to achieve to get a good result. It's a bit like quantizing live drums. If the drummer is too loose, it's going to be very hard to quantize these drums to have a tight performance, okay? Now, the performance needs to be as close to the click as possible if you want your live quantize to be effective. And the same goes with vocals. The better the performance, the easier it's going to be to pitch correct if you need to. So when it's time to decide whatever line needs to be corrected or not, that is your call. But the most important thing is to record the best performance possible. All right, guys, so this is my take on it. Now leave your comments and questions if you have some. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.